What's going on gamers, it's Phil H here from Beneath the Veil and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to do a quick overview of the new item Pavise, which was released in patch 7.33. This name actually comes from a shield that was used in the between the 14th and 16th century. Uh, during the War of the Middle Ages, Pavises were normally used as shields for archers or crossbowmen, often in larger infantries. They had a dedicated Pavisier, which is the person that would hold the shield and then the crossbowmen would fire off the crossbows and then duck behind it to reload. So Pavis is by its very nature a support item. Looking at the passive bonuses that you get, you get 3 armor, 2.5 mana regen and 175 increase to your max HP pool when you pick up this item. So these are all things that really benefit supports in general. And then if you look at the active protect, so it's a 75 mana cost ability, it's on an 18 second cooldown and then when cast on an ally, grants them a physical damage barrier that absorbs 300 damage and that lasts for a duration of 8 seconds with a cast range of 1000 units. Good to note that this buff is dispellable so if you're playing into heroes like Oracle for example that have a dispel right off the bat uh, this might not be the best pickup but otherwise running into teams that have a large amount of physical damage this could be a really nice pickup on a support nice and early into the game just to give either a core or themselves a little bit of an extra buff. You can see in terms of the what it's made out of the components it takes a void stone it takes a ring of protection it takes a fluffy hat and then there's a recipe for 275 gold it's worth noting that void stone was decreased in its cost in 7.33 so void stones are just that little bit easier to get now but yeah this is a really nice item to consider rushing if you're taking a lot of right click damage in lane if we jump into a demo lobby here i'm just going to demonstrate how this works so i've got the pavise on the crystal maiden here and I've got an allied tiny and an allied tusk. The reason I've got this is that tiny by default has zero armor and tusk has got four. And I just want to show that if I were to cast this on uh, tiny and then have my Lena attack. So it's going to take Lena about six attacks to purge it on the tiny. Whereas if I then go and throw it on the tusk by comparison, you can see that it's going to take more than that so i don't think she can even get through it it's seven yeah so it's going to take her eight so it's going to take her two extra hits and the reason for this is that uh, in 7.33 they changed how damage calculations worked for uh, new barrier effects so uh, the game will always take into consideration what a hero's resist percentages and then uh, apply that resist before applying damage to any shields or health or anything like that so this is really good for heroes that like to build armor anyway, um, but also a thing to consider is that you can cast this on yourself as well. So there are heroes like Clockwork, for example, where a piece can feel really nice because it gives you a way to go in and then resist some of the damage once you're in. So that's something to consider in terms of the use of it. You don't necessarily always have to use it on another hero you can use it on yourself as well if you get jumped for example and you just need a bit more survivability yeah i think that's about everything that i want to cover uh if you have any questions about how the item works please leave them in the comments below besides that we'll see you in the next video